The tulip is hanging from the ship as it pulls out of the harbor. And the little town of Menton is soon to be fed fresh water from the sea. Before the tulip is submerged, they outline the spring using fluorescent dye. They are using a tracer, which is a non-toxic, tasteless colorant. Scientists use it in order to better understand the flowing pattern of water. The present measurements at the spring are large and powerful, with up to 240 cubic meters of water flowing out every hour. The measurements also show that the water can be good quality drinking water. It is still not totally clean drinking water, it has to be treated. It still holds 40 times less salt than seawater. It has less than one gram of salt per liter. The divers are getting ready to plunge the depths. They are used to repairing dams, conducting marine geological experiments, or securing underwater archaeological dig sites. But excavating a freshwater spring is all new terrain for the highly experienced crew. Above water, the crew must be sure the tulip doesn't begin to sway too much as it is lowered. A single knock against the ship or a tear in the plexiglass bell would put an end to the project. Stage one is completed successfully and the tulip has been lowered into the water. The balloons, which are filled with air, have opened and are now preventing it from sinking too fast. The spring had been bubbling for millions of years when it was covered by the Mediterranean. But if the spring has been a part of the sea for so long, could its sudden removal from the seascape cause environmental problems? Marine biologists have been following the project to keep an eye on that very question.